going to Tim's Fish Shop here. Um, so we have an unboxing to do today, or I should say an opening. We picked up some fish from Denny's Pet World. Uh, it was a 50% off sale, and we got some really cool stuff. So let's start off with the big bag, huh? All right, so I don't know if you guys can see these, but these are Amazon Puffers. We've got six of them, great size. They were um, dewormed for two weeks prior. So we got some huge ones. Let's see if I could get it in this camera right here. In this camera right here. Yeah, these guys are awesome. All right, so that's six of them. Next up, we have three gold rams and two German blue rams. Love German. Love German blue rams. They're gonna be part of my breeder set. Um, yeah, I mean, they are just awesome fish. Gorgeous when they color up both the blues, the gold, and, and I was able to get some black Moscow guppies. Uh, these are all males. I don't have any females. I need to find some, but I really like these. They're gorgeous. I know a lot of people don't like the black. Uh, I think Corey and Dean mentioned that they don't like it either, but looking good. So you can see them right there. And these are going to be part of my breeding colony. Um, I'll probably end up putting them outside actually. Ah, articulated hill stream loaches, the aliens. Let's see. You guys are super cool. Let's see, maybe I could zoom in a little. There we go. Yeah, these guys are awesome. They literally look like little aliens hanging on the wall. Um, I've heard of people breeding them, I wanna try. So I'll give them a dedicated tank, maybe a 20 gallon long, and you can see how they just stick to the bag like that. Very, very cool. A little bit pricier than the normal Borneo and uh, Myers, but man, for what you get, gorgeous colors. They kind of look like a Wobbin. I mean, if you look at the pattern on the back, the Wobbin Monsters, I think they're called. But uh, Plankwood, that is. All right, next up. So, so far we've done Gold Rams, German Blue Rams, Amazon Puffers, Black Moscows, Hillstream Loaches, Particulated Hillstream Loach. And next are my, one of my favorites. They're not quite Madaka, but they are rice fish. These are daisy rice fish. So the difference between these and um, regular Madaka, Japanese rice fish, uh, these are more of a tropical fish. So they need a little bit warmer water. Um, but other than that, I care for them pretty much the same way. They spawn the same, um, just need, like I said, warmer water. I believe these are endemic to India. And the other ones, of course, are Japan. and the. Japanese rice fish have a long, long, I shouldn't say long, the Japanese rice fish have a wide spectrum that they could live in. They're super hardy. I've kept them in ice. Uh, just need to knock out the ice with an air stone. And yeah, I mean, in the heat out here, in 110 degree heat, they're great. So I'm pretty sure my tubs have gotten to at least 89 and I haven't had one loss. Um, but yeah, so these are the daisies with uh, rice fish. fish. And I have four of them right now. This is six more that are going into my breeding colony. So hopefully we'll get some eggs and I could get those out to you guys soon. Excuse me, it's hot right now. Excuse me, it's hot right now. All right, ah. Oh. I have two of bags of these guys. These are Agazizi Fire Red Epistogrammas. Man, I saw these and I couldn't say no. They're beautiful. Like. This one, especially this male right here. I got two pairs, so I'm gonna try to breed these guys. Um, I'll show you guys right now. But, but, man, look at that. Just gorgeous color, red, and then you got that purple on top right here. You can see this one right here, and that's a female, the smaller one with less color, but still beautiful. And then we have another pair. This one has a little bit more purple in the back, but they're still great looking. And to finalize our little purchase today, we did get quite a few fish. Uh, this is one of my favorites, Go uh, black ghost knife fish. Uh, these guys are awesome, I love them. They do have, uh, they kind of give out a slight electric charge, that's how they find their food. Um, 
They're South American, you know, scaleless, so you gotta be careful with them when you medicate your tanks and no salt, but man, I love these guys. I have one right now, a smaller one, but this guy's going in my display tank. He's a little bit bigger, but not much. So let's see if you guys can see it. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's just like, he's literally a, a knife fish, right? So has that knife look, has that uh, fin on the bottom that helps him propel himself and the little white that you see in the back on his tail that's where the um, electric organ is where they generate the current and how they detect other and uh, other fish uh, he's just he's just he's literally a, a knife fish right so has that knife look has that uh, fin on the bottom that helps him propel himself and the little white that you see in the back on his tail that's where the um, electric organ is where they generate the current and how they detect other an, uh, other fish uh, and food pretty much. So yeah, there we go. We have one, two, three, five, nine, we have 15. Oh geez, I don't even know how many I got. I just said toss them all in. 12, so that's 27, <laughs> can't map. Got five of these, 32, and six more, six puffers. So the total of, I said 32, right? Yeah, so 38 total. <laughs> Anyways, our unboxing of uh, my most recent acquisitions, <laughs> 38 fish. Uh, most of these are South American, aside from it seems like the guppies and actually only four of them, huh? Five bags of are South American. I like South American signals. Anyways, I digress. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know, go ahead and give it a like if you did. Subscribe, ring that bell. Um, let's hit a thousand subscribers. That'd be great, and I could keep on bringing you guys more content. Uh, I'm constantly recording and adding more videos. Uh, shorts, if you haven't seen the shorts, go ahead and check them out. Some of them are cool. I try to do a good uh, mix of everything that I have. And yeah, I'll be uh, posting some more videos upcoming soon. Work's getting crazy, so I apologize for that. But anyways, this is Tim's Fish Shop, out.